base layers, they seem simple enough, right? At their core, they're just layers of fabric that more or less act as a second layer of skin. But once you start shopping around, all those buzzwords like flat lock seam construction, moisture wicking, mineral infused fabrics, now something that seemed pretty simple just got a bit more complex. So we're gonna provide some additional insight about the benefits base layers provide. Because whether you're riding in the dirt, track, street, or simply commuting to the office, base layers are a great accessory to have that will improve your comfort on the bike without a large investment. Most people think base layers are only good to help stay warm during those colder rides, but that's certainly not all they're good for. With that in mind, let's kick things off with the biggest benefit layers provide, and that's regulating a rider's temperature. A nice day in the 70s can feel like a sauna in protective moto gear, and a chilly day in the 40s can feel sub-zero when you're riding through it at highway speeds, so any help regulating your core temperature is super important and beneficial. Base layers in their most rudimentary form help to regulate temperature via their moisture wicking capabilities. Let's start by giving the example of the cotton t-shirt. Let's say it's a cold day, but you're a trooper, and you stack on a few extra cotton layers under your jacket. Now you hit the road. You're nice and toasty, so your body starts to sweat. And at first, it's not a huge deal, but eventually it will soak into that cotton layer, and that wet t-shirt will start to trap cold air. This can lead to anything from chilly discomfort all the way to hypothermia in those extreme cases. Unlike a cotton t-shirt, which will absorb sweat, base layers pull the sweat away from your body to keep you dry, which means you stay warm. Moisture wicking is just as important to keep you cool. When water evaporates, it has a cooling effect. This is precisely why our body sweats in the first place. In addition to standard, you know, all season base layer options, there are specific base layers for different riding seasons. Warming layers have additional thermal materials built into them to help trap that warmth as well as wick the sweat away. There are even options that introduce wind blocking materials to help cut down on that freezing wind before it hits your body. Cooling layers feature thinner materials and breathable fabrics to promote airflow to keep you cool and allow that fresh air into your body while simultaneously letting your body heat freely escape. One of my favorite parts of throwing on base layers is that they act as a buffer between my skin and my gear. Base layers decrease abrasion from the uncomfortable seams that can be found on moto gear that rub against your skin. For example, there's no way I can wear a full leather race suit at the track without having a set of base layers underneath to reduce that uncomfortable rubbing. Not to mention, it makes getting in and out of the suit a lot easier. They also help distribute the pressure that some moto gear armor and protective pieces place on your skin. In off-road situations specifically, I find that wearing base layers under my knee braces and armored rig dramatically reduce their discomfort. Now lastly, a lot of base layers use terms like antibacterial or antimicrobial. This means they have natural materials to help prevent the growth of microorganisms that lead to odors that are stinky and gross, which is great, but these materials are not miracle workers. I don't care what scientific stuff your base layers are treated with, I recommend washing them after every ride, especially during those sweaty summer months. So we've hit on the basic benefits that warming and cooling layers bring to the table. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of base layers specifically made for motorcyclist. Nowadays, you can find plenty of moto base layers with armor incorporated. This is a great setup for riders that might have a favorite leather jacket, but it's not equipped with armor or pockets to add it. I also see a lot of ADV and dual sport riders taking advantage of this. Having all the benefits of a base layer and the armor incorporated means that they just need to toss on a jersey or a jacket and they're good to go. Now something I look for in my moto specific layers is one of the buzzwords I mentioned earlier, flat lock seams. Standard seams like you find on your t-shirt or some moto gear out there are made by putting two pieces of fabric on top of each other and sewing along that edge which creates a flap inside the garment. Your base layer won't do much good protecting your skin from uncomfortable seams if it has its own uncomfortable seams. Now flat lock seams decrease bulking by taking those two pieces of fabric and sewing them directly together side by side. It's simple, but in my experience, it makes a difference, especially when it comes to all day comfort on those longer rides. Okay, I've almost got you out of here. The last thing I wanted to discuss is, I see more manufacturers utilizing more mesh or open weave spandex in specific areas, rather than the same material and weave throughout the entire layer. In these areas like the armpits, the back of the legs that don't experience a ton of abrasion, but build up a fair amount of heat, that looser weave and mesh and the perforated material strategically positioned in those areas areas can make a big difference when it comes to the overall breathability. 
Now I know base layers are not the most exciting topic to discuss or listen to, but you got through it and so did I. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit today as we take a closer look at base layers. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.